Good evening. Considered one of the most dangerous schools in America, switchblades and fistfights a daily concern, Philadelphia's Strawberry Mansion High School was on the brink of closure with the clock ticking. And as teachers and students struggled to save the school, ABC News was there with extraordinary access over two school years. Tonight, thanks to our viewers, we're back with the outcome that astonished us all. ABC's Diane Sawyer takes you inside for our latest edition of Hidden America. Morning begins at Strawberry Mansion High School with a prayer. We must save the children. In your name, amen. Amen. Security guards take their posts to watch for razor blades and tin foil, knives and backpacks. Take your coat off. You're not, you're not, you're not Vaseline on faces used to prevent scratches in a fight. It is a school of 464 kids. A lot of them want to learn. Okay. A lot of them on a hair trigger. This is a dangerous school. <laughs> a lot of fights pop off for nothing. So you gotta be safe. For five years running, Mansion, as the students call it, was considered one of the most dangerous schools in America. And our cameras were allowed inside. Linda Wayman was the fourth principal for Mansion in the same number of years. Each day it gets scarier. Before coming to Mansion, Wayman was an assistant superintendent in the district. Keep going! I could not find a principal who was suitable to handle this school. So therefore, I said to myself, because I love these students dearly, and I knew the community, I will just volunteer to be the principal. Wayman is on a mission to turn the school around and make it safer. In the middle of a citywide budget crisis, she's had just a few short months to save it from being closed. She's always on edge. Ms. Jackson, can you hear me? Especially at lunchtime with the entire school in one room. Because I know that if they outnumber me, I don't know if I have enough manpower to bring them back. Suddenly, a fight between two girls because one had spit on the other the day before. What the Raymond rushes to break it up. I'm down. My leg, my knee. Now take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. By the way, during the mayhem, one of the students steps in to protect me. We don't want nobody here, Diane. Don't let us mess up. Okay. Fights like this reinforce the need for strict order. So Principal Wayman was doing something never done before, enforcing a dress code, and it's not about grooming, but safety. No boots, because boots can be used to stomp heads and no hoodies. You don't wear hoodies because we can't identify them when they walk through cameras. She had made sure that security cameras were fixtures all over the school. 94. 94 cameras, yes, and we need more. So we always have to outthink them because they're trying to outthink us. Principal Wayman had to worry not just about the student's safety, but her own. A student had threatened her life. You just said to, to me, was that I have a bullet with your name on it? Mansion sits in a neighborhood where 40% of the people live in poverty. The highest number of homicides, rapes, and assaults in the city. These are the kids in the honors program at Mansion. For many, it's tough at home. I don't dream. Why would I have hope if I know, well, I think there like, ain't nothing gonna change about the school or this neighborhood. For every student who caused trouble, there were so many who just wanted to learn, like a small, quiet girl named Malaysia. She was in the ninth grade. Malaysia wanted to make her dad proud. She lives around the corner from Mansion and tried hard to stay on track, but it wasn't easy. One day, after school, she gets punched in the face by another girl. You're busted up for good. Malaysia worries that even though she says she had nothing to do with it, Principal Wayman, who has strict rules, will suspend her for fighting. I don't want to get suspended because that's going to make my grade go down. Later, I check in with Malaysia. This better means like a little, it's sore still. But... You scared? Of fighting? Of sometimes of coming to school. Yeah. Because I'm little. Little like Razak. How do you protect yourself at school? Well, uh, I use my words. For example, like if somebody says, I want to fight you, I say, I don't want to get suspended. I don't try to be big. I don't try to be anything. I just be myself. Razak was also in the ninth grade.
He tries to show up at school every day, even though he shoulders a lot of responsibility at home. I'm the only man in the house. What are your favorite subjects? Chemistry and mm -hmm. I like learning about the atoms and the periodic table. Mm -hmm. and stuff. His pride, the junior military uniform he carefully lays out on the chair. How tall are you? I'm 5'9". Wow. How I'm tall are you? Five foot. <laughs> You'll be here. You'll so be here. I hope so. Soon. Back at school, it's parent-teacher conference day. Mr. Quigley, I'm just curious, how many parents have you had come in the last two days? This is the first parent that I saw so far. Wow, really? Yeah. Out of his 70 students, Malaysia's dad is the only parent so, who shows up. He knows she's distracted by the chaos at school, but her grades are slipping. He works in construction and just wants her to have more in life. I got to make money with my hands. Why don't you make it with your brain? You understand? Today's a new day. And there were so many students in this school who simply wanted something better. Take a look at the mansion version of Glee. They had no music teacher. A student just did what he could. By the end of the school year, Wayman has saved the school from closure, and 55 out of 92 seniors were accepted into college, double the number from years past. But for some, that wasn't enough. They couldn't afford the deposit fees, guaranteeing their place at schools they love. Like senior Christine Holland, who was not able to go to Philadelphia University. If I had the um, $550 to go to Philadelphia University, I would go. You know, I love it. For a moment, the unbreakable principle gives in to tears. As the school year ends, if nobody told you they loved you today, you remember I did. Principal Wayman braces for another year. Fewer teachers, less money, less security. But when we come back... I miss you. I miss you too. <laughs> Two of my favorite people in the world. <laughs> the school and possibility... They're all there. ...changed because of you. We wanted to come down and offer you the opportunity to study with us for the next four years. Oh, look at that girl! <laughs>